Hello everybody, welcome back to part 3 of Wood Technology with me, Mr. Patrick. In our last video we talked about parts of the trees, their functions, and why a tree needs them. In this video, I want to talk about forest thinning, debarking, and turning logs into planks of wood. This is a short video with no question at the end. Forest thinning is a first part we're going to talk about. As you can see in this forest, we have a few trees standing up with a lot of trees after being felled. Forest thinning is the removal of low value stems. Forest thinning allows better performing trees to increase in volume quicker. This is because more sunlight is getting towards the trees and they're, allow, um, they're creating more sugars through photosynthesis. For, uh, forest thinning increases profitability due to more valuable timber. How does the tree get torn into wood we can use? After it's been thinned a few times, the trees grow to maturity. From there, the trees are felled. The trees are stacked in the forest until they're ready for transport. And finally, they're transported to the sawmill. Here is the steps after the sawmill, or when it gets to the sawmill. They're sorted due to their size. They're then debarked. They are sawn into different planks of wood, they are stacked due to their size and timber, then they are dried, they are inspected, they are wrapped and then they are transported out. In this video we are going to talk about this section here and forest thinning as well. In the next video we are going to talk about conversion of wood and then we are going to talk about seasoning wood or drying of wood. The barking. As you can see we have a tree here that the bark has been taken off it. And another method of doing it. Depending on the tree, it might need to be debarked. This is done to protect the sawmill's equipment. Some woods are not debarked. These are expensive woods. Or these are trees that are felled by smaller companies that don't convert trees into planks of wood all too often. That's why you might have the bark left on the tree. 